Hello, YouTubes. Um, I thought I would do an introduction video for my YouTube channel, and I would do this a little different than I guess anybody else I've seen. Um, I'm feeling though I should change this up a smidge uh, just because looking at the giant floating head, which is right there. Um, it's kind of boring and it's not me so um, what I'm going to do is I'll explain who I am and where I'm from and flip through my sketchbook simultaneously um, my name is Henry I am a graphic artist from New York I graduated college in 1993 and quickly started to pursue a career in uh, making art uh, specifically graphic design and illustration and I've done so for the past 20 years I've worked in um, the fashion industry the toy industry in advertising um, and uh, the entire time I've been in studios and staff positions where I um, was both staff and freelance so I have insight in both areas I've worked for temp agencies independently and uh, I also have my own clients and uh, you know I suggest anyone that's doing this kind of work has their own clients as well but let's start perusing through the book as we go through here so, um, my specialties are um, primarily Photoshop, Illustrator, I do 3D, I do uh, video work, editing, creation of videos, never really shot with my own equipment until recently I started uh, doing I purchased a DSLR that would handle uh, both video and still and then started doing that why am I making these videos I'm starting to use this as both a promotion tool and a blogging tool to help me keep thought on where I'm going and what I'm doing and where I want to be and how I want to approach things. I'm, um, this is a little harder to see, it's all pencil. I am um, attempting to branch out more on my own and become less dependent on working for someone and a lot of encouragement and stuff that I've done in the past is kind of pushing me in that direction it, it just uh, for me at the level that I am now it doesn't pay to uh, be on the staff position not that I mind staff positions and um, I don't have an issue with it but I, I just have a calling to try and do some more things kind of out of the box not that, that if something came up that was really spectacular I wouldn't kind of jump in to you know, uh, both feet. But I, I think I really am going to just pursue um, what I've been doing on my own over the course of my career and really spend some more time, more fine art, more delving into the things that I really want to be doing, less of the the sort of, uh, uh, you know, uh, mo mundane things. Anyways, I'm starting to get off of the, off of the topics. So this channel is really dedicated to... Uh, uh, I want to dedicate this to uh, teaching the newer artists out there, uh, all the way from young children all the way up to adults, how to um, how to market, how to price, how to draw, how to do Photoshop stuff, video, video editing, maintaining a channel, um, some of the things that I'm personally going to be learning as I go. I mean, sometimes the best way to learn something is to, to do it at the same time. So uh, that's the plan, to uh, make the channel as best as I can, um, kind of uh, 
pushing forward to help others. That's my plan. So for uh, for a couple of years, I uh, when I was working on some of the different staff jobs that I was on, I I stopped drawing basically, and um, this moleskin was kind of where things fell off for me. I would sketch and doodle once in a while for my daughter, and then I started to really see that I was neglecting my skills. I would throw in for something, and then it would it would cause me some uh, problems. I might not uh, get the result that I was looking for. I get frustrated, I give up, and I would toss the book off to the side. Um, but now I'm starting to really enjoy making illustration again. I'm, I, uh, I gave up on it for so long. I hated it. I, I didn't want to be bothered. I just didn't feel like it. And um, lo and behold, I decided that I'm jumping back in and I'm going to pay attention more to my illustration skills and stop goofing off and doing what I love and um, take this journey uh, that uh, has been kind of uh, was given to me at a young age, but I just kind of discarded it. Um, I think the reason, one of the reasons I stopped drawing was, uh, you know, I wanted to raise a family. I needed to make some money to maintain a family and a, and a home. You know, I own my own home. So, um, you know, that was one of the reasons. But, you know, things kind of pop up and you get kind of led off of the, the beaten path and you forget what you, why you're doing stuff. It kind of happens to us. So, um, with that said, you know, I want to try and make this fun. I want to have a good time. Um, my wife and my daughter have expressed interest in wanting to learn how to, how to draw. My wife did draw when she was a kid. She kind of stopped. I want to get her back into it. I want to teach her some new stuff, things that maybe she, she'd never tried before, and um, see where that goes and see how she does with that. And um, make, just make it fun. Same thing with my daughter. Um, she spends time drawing with me. She sees me drawing. She sees me designing at the computer, and she's expressed interest in that stuff too. Um, you know, the other thing was is you know I never felt I was really a gallery style artist. You know, I had had some super limited gallery shows. You know, one two pieces at a time. Never put anything massive together. Nothing. You know, a solo show or a big solo show. I don't know what the hell that is. Um, some of these are kind of old, um, and then my favorites are uh, my little girl. So you know, when she started drawing, is when I started to really kind of take an interest. Like she, here's a little kid that you know she wants to draw and do stuff. You know, I drew this quick rose in pencil, and she w wanted to color it in, and I let her. You know, I let her pick up my sketchbook and start drawing in it whenever she feels like. She should feel entitled and, and empowered to kind of pick up the pencil and draw. All children should. Um, so that that's the other thing. the The journey from here on is where I where I want to see myself going. I want to enjoy this. I want to have a good time. I want other people to enjoy enjoy making art too. I mean, it's human nature to create things. So let's make some stuff together and have some fun. I don't know what that is. I think it's a burrito. It's pretty pretty cute actually. And then some, you know, messing around. I want to make all this stuff fun for everybody. Um, and then I started picking up again. This is when I started really kind of focusing on throwing stuff in here that I actually cared about. Spending a little time doodling and enjoying the doodles. So, let's see where it goes and have a good time. And um, hopefully 2016 will be a good year for everybody. We'll make some good art and everybody will have a good time. And um, let's see where the communications go and conversations. And I mean, I'm no s newbie to social media, but uh, I've never attempted to conquer the YouTube, the, the YouTube's. See where the YouTube's takes us. Anyways, uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the book. I will be silent and quickly end this video because it looks like the camera batteries are about to poop out. And uh, enjoy. My little niece. My little nephew. And that's it. Alright, YouTube YouTubers. I guess I'm a YouTuber now myself, so anyways, let's get this thing started and thumbs, thumbs, thumbs up, thumbs, thumbs up. How's it go? Thumbs. Up. Thumbs up.
like the video, subscribe. Anyways, be good. Take care.